So this is John's to, this is John Freiberg's My Third Wiki. Um, and this is a pretty cool thing. Okay, so here we're, we're, we're displaying one image. Okay, um, and we can change the manufacturer from Fender to Gibson. We can change the color from black to red. We can change from six string to four string. Okay. Um, now this isn't like magical on the web, but it's magical for us to be able to do it with fairly minimal amount of code. Um, the code here um, is in this select. And so if, um, it's right in there, starts with select and ends with select, and then I embed it in a table just to make things a little more complicated. Um, but that's code that's worth exploring as well. Um, what could you use this for? Like, what would this be like in, once you're done playing after my third week and you're trying to build something that's actually interesting and useful, what, 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 would, the, what would you use this for? You see, are there any things on the web that actually use this kind of functionality? You've got three dimensions, you make a choice on each of the three and it shows you your result. Well, I guess my follow-up question to that would be, can you, can you have more than one image? Yes. You can. Yes. It can it's, a, it's a search function then. You're searching for, you're doing an advanced search on three different levels of what you might pull up. So let's let's make let's clone, and um, it'd be useful when shopping. Yeah. So now I've cloned Red Gibson. So now we should see black, and hopefully red shows up twice, and it doesn't for some reason. Six string. Six string. Thank you. Yeah, and it shows up twice. So it's searching the tags. Yes. Who does this? I like that. Who does this? Amazon. Yeah. And you're saying, oh, big deal. Amazon did this. But Amazon has like more developers than me. <laughs> so the point <laughs> is, is that you can use, you can build this kind of logic. Now I've lost it. Where'd it go? I have to go back. How did you categorize the tags into which drop down menus they'd be in? Okay. Um, because I'm thinking about applying this to maybe one of my projects. I've been thinking about, I write poetry, and if I can figure out a way to kind of foolproof the way that, so people can't steal it, I was actually thinking about using all my poetry in a, in a wiki. Okay, that would be cool. I would encourage you to get over the fact that people will steal. Okay. It's an open source class, it's an open source world. If you, if you so either use your poetry that you don't mind other people having or take some public domain poetry. Because okay. the logic of the design, it's not the poetry that we are interested in, in a sense. Um, okay. That I'm actually going to save your critique. Um, where did John's go? Oh, my God. Maybe it's on the other side. There we go. Um, so to David's question of how did we actually sift through it, it's right in this select. Um, and it's list filter tag type, so you get them all. Okay. And then you basically just can go through this and replace. So here's the, here's the type. Here's the select for the type. Right. And it's called type picks. And here's the select for the color. So it's three separate selects. Here's the select for the manufacturer. And then down here, you... Um, This filter lists things that match the three selected above. You can have more than three search boxes. As many as you want. You can okay. have 50 or 100, just like Amazon does. Um, How did you get the tags to say, okay, this is a type, this is a color, this is a manufacturer? Within the tagging. When you tag black, black is tagged as a color. Okay. So the whole concept. This is why you need to have parent and children tags. Ah, okay, got it. So that's so colors of parent, black and red are children. So if we wanted to have a third color, 
to the new here and we'll call it um, pink. Then presumably when I go back to my um, under color, there should be pink and there is. And now there's nothing there because there's nothing that's pink. Okay. How do you get the tag colors to change? So you got the journal is green. So I got the what? The, the tag the journal is green and the tag pink was yellow or whatever. How did you get the tag colors to change so you could order them and sift through them that way? Yep, under tools, there's a tag manager. Okay, ah, and cool. You can color the tags. That's in one of the <laughs> earlier exercises that you can color the tag, so. Um, and it'll tell you how many is listed under each tag too, that's nice. How, it will tell you how many is listed under each tag. You've lost me there. Count, the count. Oh, yes, the count, thank you, yep. Yeah, that, I never actually noticed that. <laughs> That's nice to see how what is untagged. Yes. And so you can, here's a list of all the ones. I hadn't, I hadn't really, I only use the tag manager for color. I, it's kind of interesting. I never noticed the untagged section and I never noticed the count. And I think this icon lets you set an icon for a tag. Oh, cool. Which is interesting, I suppose. Um, I don't know how to unset it. <laughs> um, oh, there. So you can unset it there, yeah. Um, yeah, so that, this, is, this is something else I've been playing with for a while um, and invite you to play with this idea. Um, what I think this would be kind of interesting for, um, and you guys can tell me I'm nuts, because you always do. If I had a, um, right now we're working on, on a series of eight, right? It's two by two by two. So two times two times two, two times two is four times two is eight. If you expanded that to a four, so three dimensions, four attributes each. Four times four times four. You get how many objects do you get there? You're working with a set of 64. Four times four is 16, times four is 64. So Bill, this might work for yours. Um, or somebody, or you can force it into it. But the 64 have to be very narrowly tagged. And they form what I think is a set. And I could imagine a, um, like a kid's book where they have the opportunity to change this on four dimensions and they can navigate from, um, I used to work on it on goats. So you'd have like one, and goat wasn't a tag, so you'd have one, two, three, or four goats, eating, sleeping, drinking, playing, in the barn, on the tractor, in the field, uh, or in the hay mail. And so you have really nice photographs and like as a kid's thing on a tablet, they could navigate from one to any of the other, not to any of the other, but to a certain number of other of the 64 images. And they could kind of move around that space of 64. Um, that would be a really cool project for somebody to build. You could build it with, four, like I said, with four dimensions. You can do it with shapes. You can do it with the logic and the skills that you have now. Um, and if you look at this on your phone um, or a tablet where it's got more of a touch interface, um, it's that's actually pretty cool um so it works pretty nicely and that would be a pretty cool little project to build that would be something real so it would be a kid's book like a picture book um because it's only little kids who can't read that are willing to navigate amongst pictures um and you could build it right out of this logic so um yeah that's a pretty cool thing to do um okay so let me turn this 